What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. Um, I just want to get this out of the way at the start. If I sound a little more low energy than usual, it's because I have COVID. Um, I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to record today because last night I felt so horrible. I barely was even able to uh, get the last video out because I just had no energy to do anything. But um, I woke up today and I felt quite a bit better. So... I think I'm good to go. I just might not be as high energy as normal, but I can still do it. And that's what I'm going to do. So let's get it going, baby. Um, so yeah, uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, Preempting myself. I, I, I mean, I feel like significantly better. It's actually shocking how much better I feel. Um, so I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe things will be okay and I'll just, it'll be a normal video. Um, so... I have my um, my uh, run request list up here. I don't exactly know what I am going to do. I have this int here, and I've, it's been so long since I've done an int run. Like, so long. It's crazy, actually. Um, and I don't have an int run request, but I still kind of want to do an int run. Um, so I'll keep it open in my mind to see if... Uh, if I can worm this little fella onto this run somehow. Also, I might be hydrating more than usual. Uh, right now, the only thing I'm feeling is a tickle in my throat, and I really want to make sure I am. Oh, oh you know, I, I got to be careful with that. So, um, probably going to be hydrating. I'll, I'll have water drinking ASMR for you guys, uh, <laughs> which is not something I want to do, but uh, I do have to stay hydrated. So, uh, no shop. Okay, no shop. That's good. That means we high roll our doors a little bit. As I like to always talk about, um, something I don't think new players exactly pick up on at first, but um, the amount of doors that you get in Skull is not stagnant. It can vary. Um, if you get four or five doors, I can't remember exactly how many it is, before the first shop, that means you high rolled your doors. And if you don't, that means you low rolled your doors. Also, that's, if I didn't have forward march, I would actually pick that up because I have some really cool run requests with, uh, with the pike that I want to do, which would mean I wouldn't be able to do this... Um, this int run if I went down that path, but that'd be fine because uh, the last uh, time I tried to do a pike run request, it did not pan out and I want to try that again. But for now, let's pick this up and that and I could also pick that up, but I think I'm just going to pick up a kendo stick, which is, you know, is what it is. I'm not, I mean, I've made this clear plenty of times at this point. I'm not the biggest fan of the kendo stick, but I am going to pick it up for now because at the start, it is just kind of a useful item to have. There's no real reason not to pick it up. Oh, okay. Um, he has been a bit of a pain, but that's not too like it's the first adventurer. There's not too much to say about these bozos. They're they're weak. Vanger, the uh, adventurer. Uh, that's probably not even how that's pronounced. But he's a bozo. He does not know what he's doing. And I killed him, so he's dead forever. Uh, R.I.P. Bozo. I never paid attention to the names. Uh, the names are, are random and it can be any amount. I don't know how many there actually are, but from what I understand, there's a lot. Also, if you hear something in the background, that's my nephew. Um, old cross or hydra. I mean, I don't like hydra. I'll just take the old cross. Maybe you should have broken the, the skull for shards. And that was probably the best option, but I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. I mean, this will turn into money down the line, so that's good or this could end up being a stun run nah, it's not like i know for sure i don't think i have a stun request uh available right now but i would maybe still do it like i would consider it if it was a cool enough like circumstance armor of fear potentially would send me down that path who knows it's been a while since i've done an armor of fear run uh i'm always making fun of it i feel like i owe the item a little bit of something something the item uh is not as bad <laughs> I mean it's not good but it's also not horrible I used to say it was the worst legendary and I don't think that's true anymore it might be doomsday quite frankly it's pretty fucking bad <laughs> there's a, that's a real bad one um so thief armor is just kind of like a good item like it's just good I don't know if it's good to hear I I could refresh and look for something more thematic to the run I'm trying to get built here, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna pick up the thief armor. Like getting that in the first act, 
I, th we're gonna have a very good rest of uh, Act One and a really good Act Two too. This item is just like very, 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 uh, just useful. Also, I did get a meme projectile run request. I guess I could maybe go down that route. But also, it's not been that long since I've done it. Uh, so I, I, I'm a little iffy on doing something like, like I'll take a, the same skull a couple of runs in a row. Like I, I'm willing to do that. But when it comes to, um, also I, I did, I, it's not been that long since I've done a rider run. I don't want to get hooked on the rider. And also it has a magic attack on it anyway. So let's just leave that. But, um, like uh, when it comes to doing exactly the same run very quickly together, I'm, I'm not too keen on that. So let's be a little careful here. And um, I think we have one more door after this. If I had to take a guess, what is this? Rejuvenation route, eh, nothing crazy. Let me take a drink of tea. Whew. I'm glad to be here, man. Shoot, I'm, I'm very glad to be here. I was very worried that uh, I was gonna be out of commission for a few days and not be able to record videos. But here I am. Also, oh, I haven't even talked about this yet. Uh, I did the poll yesterday, and you guys seem pretty uh, interested in other games. Other, ro I should have specified this on the poll. Other roguelites. Uh, I'm a, this is a roguelite channel, for the record. I do only roguelites. I should have specified that in the poll. Maybe that would have swayed a couple of the naysayers' opinions. But um, yeah, uh, other roguelites. And I have a few in mind that I already know for a fact I want to bring to the channel. Uh, there's a lot of games coming out, or a lot of games that are getting big updates soon. And um, whenever a game gets an update that I'm interested in, I'll probably do a video on it. Um, I'm not ever planning on straying from Skull the Hero Slayer content on this channel. Just so people know. Like, I wanted to make that clear in the poll, but I just want to reiterate it here. Skull is my favorite game of all time. Uh, I'm going to play this game probably forever. And, I mean, the devs are still actively updating it, too. So, it's like, there's... Like, this, skull, this game is here to stay. Um, it just, you know... I, I would just like to have a little variety. Uh, maybe pull from other corners of the internet. Uh, I already have a few games in mind that I'd like to do, but... You know, it's like... I just want people to understand, like, Skull is not going anywhere. And if I do do other games, um, it will be alongside Skull content, so... No worries there if you were concerned maybe that uh, I was going to stray away from what this channel has been thus far. That's not going to happen. So none of this is interesting at all. Like literally none of this. It's all dog shit. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple of interest. Like if I do the meme projectile run, which I'm not planning on doing it for the record. I'm not. Uh, this would be good. Um, I'm kind of just half tempted to pick up the Centauros. Which is not even good. It's just like something, I guess. Uh, man, this blows, huh? I could pick up the coward's cape in anticip anticipation for like a pike run, but the coward's cape also is not good in my opinion. It's like the most like I'm, I don't know exactly what to say about it. It's like the most um. I'm just going to take this in Tars. It's the most niche item effect that has barely, like, not a lot of use cases. Um, you just go a little bit, it, it, not a little bit, it's pretty significantly faster for a short amount of time. And it's like, I mean, that's cool and all, but it's just like, it's not really all that useful. Like, and really, and like, you would think, oh, but what about speedruns? But I also don't think speedrunners use the Coward's Cape. It's just, you need stats in speedrun because, like, Really, and this is the case in Skull, as it is in most things, the best, like, defense is a good offense. And, like, the Coward's Cape just has no stats attached to it. That are offensive stats, I should say. It does have speed stats attached to it, but... And it's, like, also a little hard to activate it. I don't know. I, I don't think people are out there saying Coward's Cape is excellent or anything. It's not horrible. It's just not ideal. Also, oh, dude, Centaurus is going to absolutely slap here, okay? It's worth... Getting picking up the Centaurus was, was worth it just so, like, I would be able to do this map like this. That's just... That's fun. Like, you can't get much better than that. Oh, why didn't it kill these guys? Come on, dog. What the fuck? Okay, the Halfling, I didn't even notice her there. My mind just blocks her out. 
if I see her in the early game. Like, I'm not interested at all. Sorry, miss. You're just gonna have to rot in there. So here's the... The person who requested the meme projectile build requested it with the mage. Like I said, I'm not... I don't think I'm doing it on this run. Um, but I, the game is shoving me in that direction, and it's kind of weird game, not gonna lie. Like, I literally just did one, like, maybe a, a couple weeks ago. It's a very specific build. It's a very stupid build, for the record. It's not good, but, um, it's not bad. It's just, like, it, it, if you're, like, looking for, like, top-tier skull builds, Mean Projectiles is not it. <laughs> not it at all. There we go. It's just kind of fun. It's fun to like have a bunch of fucking projectiles flying all over the place. And hey, having fun in Skull of the Hero Slayer is more important than just being good at, you know, being like the king of kings in this game. Always getting the best builds and shit. Um, it's been a while since I've done a Many Eater run. It's a very fun uh, item. I think I'm going to take it. This has actually been surprisingly helpful. I think I'm just going to get rid of this. And while I'm here, I might as well pick this up, too. Get rid of this, because we're not magic-based. Grudgestone is magic-based, so... Leave that there and be on our way. Still haven't found a skull that's tickled my fancy. Which is a... Uh, when that came out of my mouth, I was like, oh, God. That that sounds uh, not great. But um, that has captured my interest. <laughs> that's way better. Uh, for the partner skull here. And also, I don't even know if I'm sticking with the end. There's a reason I haven't upgraded it. But... I don't know. It's like I said, it's been a while since I've done an int run. Way too long. I love this skull. It's very fun. So I'm very down to make this an int run if I can just find the pieces to make it work. Which so far we found some pretty good shit here. What is this? Warrior. I've done too many warrior runs. I have to like, put him on a cooldown. Despite how much I love him. Tea time. Sorry. Just trying to stay hydrated here. Not that tea is the best way to stay hydrated. Uh, it's actually probably the worst way to stay hydrated. But I also want that caffeine boost, baby. I don't think I would be able to function on these runs if I didn't have a caffeine boost. And you are dead. Look at that head just rolling around, dude. Holy fuck. This game's morbid, bro. Soon they're going to add, like, the bloody guts mode where it's, like, Street Fighter 2 shit. Where it's, like, just, like, blood and guts everywhere. And you can, like, toggle it on or off. That's going to be in the hard mode update. Mark my words. Okay, it's adventure time. Not worried about them, obviously. Oh, by the way, just take note of how much Thief Armor has made this, uh, this portion of the game significantly just more bearable. Thief Armor is so fucking good, dude. It's so, so good. Also, Mana Eater doing some cool shit there. Did you see that? An item that I am a big fan of. I don't know how many other people, how much other people like the mana eater, but I love it. You know, we can make this a physical little bone run, technically. With the mana, we're already on the mana eater. It could be a thing. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done it. People have actually been requesting it. I know I have a run request in here for a physical little bone. Let me have a little look here. I don't think I have the name written down for it. No, I don't have the name written down for it, so it's not as important for me to just sit there looking for it. Also, Shadow Knights? I guess, right? Like, I might as well. Especially if I'm doing Physical Little Bone. Also, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to hold off on upgrading this in until we have 40 Bone Shards. Because then I can take it straight to Unique. And that's like... Then I'll like know for sure I'm committed to the... Uh... Oh, okay. We absolutely just nuked this room. But I'll know for sure at that point I'm committed to the it. But um, until then, let's hold off and see if we get something a little more interesting. So if I'm doing physical little bone, we already have mana eater, which is a good thing. We have thieves armor, which is really good on a uh, little bone because it makes his basic attack not as like just disastrous. But um, what we really want is a mana tech generator, mana tech gravity generator, I should say. Um, that is like the physical little bone item. Before uh, 1.5, physical little bone was not nearly as like feasible as it as it is now. It was like actually a very niche build that pretty much didn't work and then they added that and it just blew up and became excellent i think at this point i can get rid of this um not that i'm holding on to the mage's necklace for the entirety of the run but it's gonna help in the short term give me a little bit of mana cycle action 
And uh, we don't need Mana Cycle 4. That would be complete overkill. And it would actually be bad because my... Or it would be bad on Little Bone. Little Bone um, is not good at utilizing uh, um, Mana Cycle 4 because his abilities don't do really any damage on their own. It's all about the item effects attached to his abilities that make his, uh, Little Bone builds work. So... This could even go a little mixed, couldn't it? Like, uh, we could actually get, like, uh, mana bone and work off of that, potentially. If we actually do go... I'm feeling the physical little bone route, I'm not gonna lie. We don't have rapidity. Well, we do, but we're not keeping this kendo stick, so I'm not picking up the acceleration sword. Just move along. That could enable some mixed shenanigans, but I'm not that committed to a mixed build, so... Fuck it. I will just go straight. Um, I'll go straight physical. Uh, what about this? It's good on Lil Bone, I guess. Kind of. I mean, it's decent. Uh, could I get rid of the Kindle Stick here? Would I still have arms? Yeah, I would. So, yep. Fuck off, Kindle Stick. I hate you. You're my least favorite item in the game. I guess I got rid of my rapidity, though, huh? Which is fine. It's not a big deal. I can get it back with something better that's not Kendo Stick. Okay, uh, we're gonna absolutely nuke this room. Here it comes. Oh yeah. That's the good st Wait, what? Hello? Oh, everything's just dead, huh? Okay. I, I guess so. I, I was not expecting that to happen. Dark Paladin. We already did one recently. I'm on- I'm committed to at least, um, doing a skull I haven't done in a while. Also, god damn it, I wanted to drink some tea, man. Just a little bit, you know? I wanted to have a bit of a tea break there. So far, no Fulgent Dawn pieces. Um, Fulgent Dawn, if I am going a little bit of a mixed route here, which I don't necessarily plan to, but it could happen. Uh, if that is in the, if that uh, ends up what I do... God, I, that was not good sin structure. Uh, if um, that is what I end up doing, uh, I would like Fulgent Dawn. Though, obviously, I would take Fulgent Dawn regardless. Um, no. Just keep st stick to the route we're on here. If that had the knife, I might consider it. Because mana cycle knife is pretty fucking awesome. A little bit of cooldown rate with the mummy's knife ability is hilarious. If you've never seen it, you're missing out. Is this uh, adventure or Liana sisters? And it is. Any HP orbs? I should at least check. Mm, no, no. Just a pile of gore over there. And the Blood and Guts update coming soon. That will just be like bloody guts everywhere over there. But it might as well be, right? Like you're literally like dismembering all these like people. God, Low Bone is not... Like it is ambiguous if this is a good character or not. Not... I mean, Carleon is a fucked up place and all. I'm surrounded by people like this. But it's like... Those are just people, man. <laughs> those are just like dudes. Gold Maid Knights, sure. But they're like peons of the Gold Maiden Knights. Like they don't have it. They don't have any decisions. Like they're just like dudes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lil Bone, have some sympathy. Good lord. All right. Oh, I, I mean, you know what? Actually, I was going to activate my uh, my um, Shadow Knights there, but it's a good thing that it didn't actually work because I would rather use it on uh, Phase Two regardless. And I wasn't thinking about that at the time. There we go. God, that was all Mana Eater for the record. Mana Eater is awesome. Alright, we'll activate it now. She should get hit by the full blast of this. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at... There's so many. Oh, my God. That was incredible. There were so many near her, too. There were so many of them just, like, globbed up here. Which is uh, pretty fucking funny. Like, that is not something you see very often. Usually, they're scattered all over the place, but... I was going to drink some tea there. I don't care at all. Like, I'm very thirsty. Um, wow. Well, then. <laughs> this all kind of blows, huh? I guess I want this over what? I could take it over this. Like, this is not doing that much. Mana Cycle 2 is good and all, but I'm not mixed. It, so, And the problem with Stone Mask is it's only going to be a 20% gain. But it's going to instantly turn into a 50% uh, a gain. So. 
that's good. Uh, we'll have plenty of gold on this run. And we're also going to have treasure now. So, oh, I also got rid of heirloom there, which is, I guess, not great. Heirloom is just kind of like a good inscription. Like, it's, it's just good to have um, at any point. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I got to do one more. So, I, I don't know, man. I'd have to see something really, really cool to get me off of this um, little bone uh, enter out here. Uh, there are things that would, but I'm feeling this, so, like, there's a good chance that this is going to be our two skulls for the run. I mean, Lil Bone is a is an excellent skull. Like, he, he's very good. Like, I, I would say he's lost his value a little bit, especially with the release of Mage, because he used to be, like, the premier ability spammer, and that's just not the case anymore. So he lost a little bit of what made him special, but he's still really good. Um with he does have some issues though because uh, like i said none of none of the damage you're going to be doing is attached to little bone himself it's all attached to the item effects which means he has a pretty like he has a ceiling for sure that where he like kind of can't out compete with other skulls but still he's fun to use and he's not bad so a lot of people have the assumption that little bone is bad because little bone um is like you he there's like an achievement for winning with Lil Bone, so I think that gives people a false assumption that oh Lil Bone must suck ass. No, Lil Bone's pretty decent. Um, it was certainly a usable skull for sure. Also, get the treasure chest, of course. We have quite a bit of money for the shop. Uh, I guess quite a bit is a bit of an understatement. We have a fuckload of money here, and we also high rolled our doors again, um, which is just. I fucking love when that happens, man. Two videos in a row, we high rolled. I, I like you can't ask for much more than that, man. Uh, Skull is being nice lately. It's like, man, we know you don't feel too good right now. You're a little under the weather. We're gonna we're gonna give you a freebie here. Thanks, devs. Looking out for me. All right, we is this a if this is a money room, we're gonna have like seven k for this shop, which is really good for an Act Three shop. Oh my god. Oh my god, we almost have 8k. Alright, well, I better get something at least decent in here then. None of that. None of that. None of that. Oh boy. None of that. Oh, okay, that's good. That's one piece of the Fulgit Dawn um, thingy. I'm at Hidden Blade 3. Is there a worse Hidden Blade I have here? Oh, okay. No, there is not. Which is kind of weird to say, actually. Maybe there is. I don't know. <laughs> I guess this could go. This could go. Do I have enough to refresh? Yes. And it's trash. Wow, man. For how much money we had, this shot blowed. Just straight up terrible. <laughs> I mean, hey, what are you going to do? It happens. It's Skull Hero Slayer. Uh, we're gonna have enough, a lot of money for all of the shops as long as we have this stone mask. So, and I plan on holding on to it for at least a little bit. It would take a quite a bit to get me off of it. The reason I didn't get rid of the, what's it called, the distorted curved sword, is because it's helping my thieves armor. But my thieves armor, I don't know if I'm, I don't know. It's really good with little bone. That's the thing about it. God, so many warriors, man. That just happens quite a lot, huh? Like, there's always one skull on every skull run that's just, like, pushy. And it can't, like, take no for an answer. And it just shows up over and over and over again. Despite all of your, like, persistent, like, declining. Like, please, uh, I'm not interested, man. You know, you, you, I think of you more as a friend, the warrior skull. And it just can't accept it. It's like, no, 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 no. No, uh, because I like you, so that means mean you like me, too. It's like, nah, okay, whatever you say. I am a fan of you for the record, just not on this run. Like, literally, just come back like another day. After, maybe like a week from now or a couple weeks from now. After I've sat on that cooldown for a bit. And, uh, you know, then we can talk. Oh! Sorry, little bone. <laughs> Sorry, little bone. That's a Yaksha. I'm going to take that. And it even has the concentration skill. Sorry to the uh, little bone fans out there, but we'll get around to it. Um, that's Yaksha, man. What, like, what do you want from me? 
It's a natural legendary that I have uh, been wanting to play with for a bit now, and here he is. I'm gonna definitely uh, capitalize on that. And I did, I did get rid of the uh, mysterious apparatus, which was like really the only little bone. Well, I guess also uh, um, hidden. What is this? A mana eater. I don't know why I forgot the name of it for a moment there. Um, okay, so I would use Rock Shasta here, but I think these guys are just gonna die to uh, to the Shadow Knights. Which is fucking hilarious. I'll use him anyway, though. Oh, yeah. They certainly did die to... <laughs> they certainly did die to that. Did... They, yeah, they did not stand a chance. Go ahead and take my bone shards there. We're not quite there with our... Um... Int, but we'll be there in the next act. So that's good. And we're also getting the maximum value off of uh, Stone Mask now, which is also good. I, I, I don't know, man. Like, as much bad things as I've said about Yaksha, and I stand by them, uh, he's a fun skull to use, and I like seeing him whenever I see him. It's like seeing an old friend. An old friend where you kind of went a- you, you like, had a bit of a falling out, and, you know, you- it, it was like over something stupid, you know? And then you see them again, and it's like, do I go say hi? I, the shit got so weird for a while, and then they come up to you, and it's like, sup, dude? And you're just like, oh, dude, it's all good, baby, it's all good! Aw, oh, dude. Okay, Shadow Knights is perfect here. Let's get that going. You- oh. Okay, well, I didn't even need to do that. I want to use this concentration ability uh, because I have the um, the Attendance Pauldrons. I think that's what it's called. Yes. I'm, I'm memorizing them slowly but surely. I'm just going to keep taking item rooms because we have so much money. It's like, I'll just see more items than I would if I didn't. That's something that's going to be in the tips video, but uh, I'll go ahead and say it now. Um, a good time to take item rooms is, well, there's lots of different times to take item rooms, but one of them is if you already have a lot of money for the shop that you're about to enter. And it varies depending on which act you're in and where you're at in that act, what is considered a lot of money for a shop. But especially in Act 3, I mean, 8k is incredible for a shop, so I have no reason to keep taking uh item rooms because I'll just see more items if I take uh, money rooms or item rooms because you get diminishing returns whenever you refresh a shop so like eventually it becomes too expensive to actually be like reasonable so yeah also so far so bad none of this is good oh my god please game okay I could maybe make this work do I have antique I do okay well then I'm 100 but it's on this actually that's a problem that's a problem. I don't think I can do it. Oh, that sucks. That fucking sucks. <laughs> also, it's only... Oh, no, no, no. We have two power skulls now. Well, in that case, I actually do want this a little more. We can find antique on something else, potentially. I think at this point I can get rid of the thieves armor. Because we're not on little bone anymore. We don't need it. Oh. oh, well, okay then. <laughs> See, it did pay off to buy the, uh, it did pay off to buy the Hand of Glory. I would get rid of this, but it has my antique on it. But we do gain, okay, we gain max HP by getting rid of that, so it's fine. What is our, oh man, we got so much damage percent. We're on a giga run again, aren't we? The ring in every run, it lives on. All right, one more. Oh man, that would have been good on the the previous run we were on, but I think it's still good. I'll actually take it over this. There we go. Okay, that shop was fucking insane. Making up for the last shop. Holy shit. We even got antique back. I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh my god, what is our we're getting 20 Oh my god, look at this. Alright, this run is starting to pop off in a major way. Holy shit, bro. Let's go. Um, have a nice uh, Rock Shasta here in the pit where like literally no like there's no escaping uh, Rock Shasta in here so it's like there's no reason to also look how fast our abilities are because we have the mana cycle go ahead and uh, start recharging oh man this is actually this one's really fast look at this I think I can get it back right now yep so we already have rock oh fuck I went <laughs> damn it okay I'm gonna get dickhead legendary here and now I would deserve it too like uh, I can't even complain uh, I just was not paying enough attention. Go out here into our good pal, the 
um, the int. Am I going to try and do the Earl thing? I don't think so. I might, though. I don't, uh, when I say the Earl thing, I mean, um, like, planting a bunch of grass and infinitely stacking my damage. The problem is, you, if whenever I swap out into, um, into rock, uh, Yaksha, that's going to do a lot of damage to the enemy. And, like, no matter how much, uh, grass I stack, it's like, it won't matter because I'll just kill them with, like, swap damage, so. I might still give it a shot, though. I don't know. I might also need mutants, which I don't have. I don't remember the exact build that did that. Alright, so no more skull, no more skull rooms. I'm gonna drink some water. Oh. Okay. So, no more skull rooms. Oh, okay, don't hurt me. Oh man. Okay, can we get down here? Oh, I was hoping that the uh, that the wheel would be able to destroy these guys too. God, the wheel's so good, dude. I'm such a wheel stan, and this is something I've said from the very beginning of this channel. The origins. Uh, I love the wheel, and this was even before 1.5 job, dude. I was I was always a wheel defender. Oh, they're already okay. Well, that's that's my bad. I was not paying attention. <laughs> but yeah, um, wheel is awesome. If you don't like it, you're wrong. Don't know what to tell you. Sorry. It's a great item. And it just got better, too. Like, like um, the effect has always been pretty good. But, like, they changed it from uh, 5 to 4 and then gave it, like, flat damage percent. Which, it used to have courage on it. But, like, that was... It's better now than it was then, for sure. <coughs> Excuse me, man. I hope that was not too bad. I tried to block the, um, the microphone. But, like I said, I have COVID. I have COVID, guys. I have to... Sometimes you gotta cough when you have COVID, bruh. Let's turn this way. Um, oh, oh yeah. Absolute blowout. She's fucking dead. <laughs> Shadow Knights has been killing it, dude. Holy shit. I actually think Shadow Knights is uh, probably better than, um, like, even Orc on a run like this. But these items certainly are not... What is this? Dizziness? Yeah, it's trash. None of this interests me, so I think I'm just gonna break the Chimera thing. Oh man. Uh, I'm trying my best not to cough, but I feel it, bro. It, it, I, got, I got the tickle in my throat right now. But I'm holding it. That's how committed I am. Uh, okay, so now we have Legendary Ent. Good lord. Uh, the run's about to take off just like crazy legendary it is just phenomenal and we even have like my favorite my I, both of these abilities are uh actually no 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 the one where he sends the fists out of the ground that's that would be my preferred over this one but the 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 hand grab where he crushes the enemy that's that's my favorite ant ability i think it's the strongest one so that's good like we're we're we're, we're absolutely and also i think this one is a concentration ability too so i should be doing that more also dickhead harpy just putting that out there okay it's not a concentration ability all right let's go ahead and free this good lord you are such a jerk harpy i always talk about how the halfling wants you dead but it's just as true for the uh for the harpy she wants you dead um these are not your friends they show up at the worst times i'll go ahead and take an item room here because we already have a decent amount of money so RIP to the stone mask. We're not gaining nearly as much as we were. Ha! Ah, I don't even need to plant grass there. I'll plant grass over here though. Also, I'm missing the thieves armor a little bit too, but it had to go. I used to rely very heavily on the thieves armor when this channel first uh, started gaining traction. I think I, I used to talk about how I relied too heavily on it, and I don't do that anymore. It's weird. Uh, it's an item I haven't been picking up nearly as much as i used to couldn't tell you why it's still a really good item it just is it as uh, valuable to me for some reason and you guys are dead and you guys are dead look how much damage we're doing bro it's insane actually insane we're very powerful <laughs> oh wait what oh i broke a shrine okay that makes sense that would have been crazy don't do it I gotta get my uh, rock shasa. Oh man, just a w one punch man here, dude. Did you see that shit? Good lord. Alright, we got rock shasa up. Master fighter? I don't think so. Over what? 
I should really just be looking for Lunar Ring, quite frankly. Uh, this could be okay, but I don't think so. Keep going. Uh, laptop, if you could relax and not lag, that'd be great. Okay, a little late here on the metal box. I'm not going to take it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what do I get rid of? <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. I really am sorry. <laughs> I don't like coughing in people's ears. Um, I could get rid of the Carleon sword because this has arms and courage on it. It's pretty actually. Yeah, this is what's going Just makes sense to me Uh, that that item generally ends up leaving I, I could have gotten rid of this but um, I'd rather just have two courage two, and that gave me arms four. so <coughs> I'm dude I I was debating on if I should do it like last night I was thinking about making a <coughs> community post just talking about how uh going to be a bit before I come back but like last night like I said I felt much much worse today I actually have a little bit of energy and I don't feel just like I'm in agony so uh, I definitely don't want to not record videos but if I if I'm a little coffee over the next couple of days that's why obviously I have COVID um, I kind of want to get rid of this but I think I'll just free ball it here and see what happens um, anything here is basically good <laughs> Except for the mana eater. And oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It happened. We got the Dawn of the Crimson Sun. That's insane. Okay, that's crazy. Um. Wow. I was not even paying attention to that for the record. I, I was not thinking I'm going to get Dawn of the Crimson Sun. That's awesome. Okay, this runs insane. This runs ridiculous. Like, it, it can't get much better. <coughs> Except, of course, before when you could dupe the Dawn of the Crimson Sun. Through a glitch that I'm very glad that they patched out because that shit was dumb as fuck. But, um, yeah, man, I'm glad it's here. Oh, don't hurt me. Oh, okay, let me uh, get this HP orb. If you fall down, I don't think the HP orb falls with you. So if you leave that up there, you won't be able to get it. Just a little bit of a, a tip for me to you. What is... Oh, oh, that's the treasure chest, which I think I opened. I hope I opened it. Crimson Sun hopefully doesn't pop off here without me uh, being in a room. I don't know exactly how it works. I think it works like Fulgent, where it appears above enemies. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Also, let's swap out to the ant here. Ha-ha! Oh, my God. 3K there. That's crazy. We're very, very strong. Also, I think the adventurer is here. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. No mage. I've had her too many times recently. I'm sick of her. I am absolutely sick of her. I would like to see pretty much anyone else. Um, even the cleric. Oh, the ninja. Perfect. RIP Bozo. This guy fucking sucks. This guy sucks hard. He is so bad. Um, we're going to destroy him. Oh, he ran away like a little bitch. Come over here. You're dead, sir. Oh, he's ulting. I can't believe I let him ult. You asshole. This is just not cool. Um, not at all what I wanted to happen here. But we're good. Like, he's dead now. Maybe I'm wrong, dude. Maybe the fist coming out of the ground isn't the, be the better attack than this one is. This is, like, surprisingly powerful. Also, there's Doomsday. Uh, and the Arch Lich. I barely even acknowledge the Arch Lich. Uh, he should have showed up earlier. It's been a while since we've done an Arch Lich run. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to do one. It's just he needs to show up. Or a Reaper run for that matter. A uh, Reaper run is super overdue. I have so many good ideas for Reaper runs. And I just can't find it. Oh my god. That attack is insane, dude. I think I'm wrong. I, I think I'll just go ahead and cop to it, bro. That's the, the strong attack. The str uh, second strongest attack on the... Um, or maybe that's even the strongest attack, dude. Maybe I'm... I don't know how that has escaped me for so long, but, like, that shit's crazy. Also, uh, I'm realizing with um, with Crimson Sun, I actually think it might be my best interest here to build Arms 6. Because we have Arms 5 right now. It's a little awkward. I could definitely stand to go Arms 6, and it would be very good if I did. Um, I'll take a uh, money room here. I'd like a little more money for the shop. 
maybe 8k would be the ideal here just to throw a number out also this is a perfect rakshasa moment oh don't hurt me i think i'm willing at this point to ditch the mana cycle of this run and lean fully into uh arms but like i never would have guessed that we would have gotten crimson sun here like i don't know man that shit threw me for a loop I don't know though, the mana cycle on this is really good. This, These are both really good items. I have to very carefully consider this. I'm really happy with both of my uh, Yaksha abilities and my Int abilities, so I'm not going to free her. Also, once again, we high rolled these doors. Just want to point that out. God, we're just cruising, man. These last couple of runs have just been excellent. I'm very uh, happy about them. All right, let's save. Actually, no, let's rock Shasta right here. Fuck it. You, my friend, are getting obliterated. Also, I just want to point out, uh, it's like kind of like a perfect example of why I have problems with Yaksha. Did you see how much damage rock Shasta did there compared to how much damage our Int is doing? Like, rock Shasta has like a damage problem where he just doesn't do enough. And it's, it's wild, too, because he's supposed to be like this behemoth Goliath-like monster. And... He just does not do the damage that I feel like he should. Like, they design, they, this, the character design, everything about it is like, this guy should be fucking you up. He should be ruining your day. Uh, and he just doesn't. Couldn't tell you uh, what the devs are thinking with Rakshasa or Yaksha in general. It's very strange. I feel like they just don't like him. <laughs> like, that's the only. Con Fuck off. Give me your treasure. Okay, there we go. Look for an HP orb. Just, you know, build a bit of min-maxing. And there's not one, so let's just get out of here. I think the shop is up next, so... If I want to heal, I can. But I'm already well above the, like, usual average HP amount, so I think I'm good. Um, So, Pot of Greed would be perfect. That's pretty much the only thing I'm missing here. Um, No, it's way too late for that. Just keep going. Stop showing up, Holy Grail. What is this? Wisdom? That would be so good on just any other run. I'm also looking for arms. If I can get something good with it. I mean, this is arms and it's good, but it's too late. Like, I can't do it. And that shop was awful. <laughs> just, just awful. So, I'll, uh, I guess, hang my head down and move on feeling kind of betrayed by the game here though i guess i can't complain too much because the game has been very very kind otherwise uh yeah th all of the things there got destroyed by the wheel also this is going to be two rooms i'm calling it for the record um something i like to do is guess how many uh, rooms are going to be before we get to the next like benchmark fight and i'm guessing two let's see if i'm right i noticed patterns with this game Oh, yes. I was very excited to do that. Okay, so this should be the last one. Just a guess. I'm just putting it out there. And it is. Mm, I don't know. I guess Haxa just knows what he's talking about. I guess he's just super smart and cool. That's just kind of how it is. Okay, let's fucking be careful here. So, um, the reason I knew that is because we high rolled our doors all the way up to this point. And generally, that means, um, like, especially in this, in Act 4, you only get two doors. It, like, if you high-rolled the maximum amount of doors on the way here, you pretty much always get two doors after um, you get to the shop. Oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I jumped the gun there. <clears throat> you know, uh, let's, you know, hey, you know. <laughs> oh, uh, a little embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what can I say? Uh, you know, as smart and cool as I am, everyone makes mistakes, you know? Okay, let's... I, I always get the, the order that these doors open up in. Can, wait, what is happening? Oh! Oh, okay, that... Never mind. For some reason, I thought I got it uh, twisted, and I didn't know um, the, the order that the doors opened up in, but it was just that there was, like, one bozo running around. Also, this has done quite a bit of damage to me, hasn't it? I've not been careful here. 
And wow. Ro Yaksha, why are you so why are you like this, Yaksha? As happy as I am to have you on this run, bro, like why are you like this? It it's just a question that's on everyone's mind. Why can't you just do more damage? It's just what a shame, bro. Also, why did you get fat, Yaksha? Uh, every, this is just I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. It's you. Why did you gain why why are you pudgy now, Yaksha? What happened to you? You used to be so tall. And then you like got short. I don't know, man. Yaksha is just he is a down bad. He is he is not doing good. Alright, so let's see what this uh this Joan fight has to offer, but I am very confident. In fact, I think I'm gonna obliterate her. Like a straight up through a trouncing. Alright. Fortress of Fate. 4-3. I never read that shit. <laughs> I didn't even read the bottom part. I probably should. So do I use my um, my Shadow Knights here? Or do I use them on... I think I'm going to use them on Joan herself. Or maybe not. With this happening, I think I'll use it here. Because um, it would, it'll just make it easier on me. God, look how much damage they're fucking doing. Shit's crazy. Okay, so that was crazy. Like, I, I actually do genuinely believe in this one instance, I can do much more with Shadow Knights than I can with Orc. Which is a rare thing to say, for the record. Um, Orc is obviously crazy, and almost any other time, it's going to be much better for you. But it's like, oh god, she sucks so hard, dude. I hate Joan. Uh, like, we could have, like, just killed her before she got to do anything had she not gone invincible there the reason i hate her so much i think is because she won't let me like like otk her um i'll just break a icebreaker or glacier breaker ha get it break a glacier breaker that was good man i got the jokes um okay so moving on to the path to sanctuary see i should read that shit more often Instead of calling it Act 5, I call it the Path to Sanctuary. I And this is something I've brought up before, but I'll bring it up again. I, one of the things I want most out of hard mode is expanding on this. I want a true Act 5. That would be so sick, bro. It would just be... That's like my number... What? A, it's like not my number one, but it's up there, man. Alright. There's not a lot here that I could get. Uh, Pot of Greed. Really? Oh, that, though. That is... Uh, Though apparently it's glitched. I haven't watched the Earl video. Kind of makes me hesitant to pick it up. Um, he 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 named one of his videos the Bone of Courage is glitched. And I, I think I'll take his word for it and not pick that up. Yeah, let's just move along. I'll heal. Uh, we, I mean, our kit is crazy as it is regardless. <laughs> like, I couldn't ask for much more. Um, so yeah, this is our kit. It's fucking insane. Um, couldn't really ask for a better build we even kept the mana cycle to the end which i'm actually happy about so uh yeah we're gonna be spamming abilities like crazy i think i can kill the first hero very easily in this one before he gets to do the jump in the air if things work out i think i'll use my uh, shadow knights on a phase one and that should that should seal the deal the only problem with shadow knights is like there's that point where he jumps up in the air for the first time and then he's like off the screen for like like a whole like 10 seconds or five it's not that much it's more like three five, four or five seconds but that's a lot of time for shadow knights to not be doing damage so i think i'll actually hold off on it until he does that and that should seal that should absolutely 100 percent secure my kill on him before he gets to do anything so let's be strategical about this all right so we're past it we didn't take any damage from the bozo uh um statues which is always a good thing Fuck those things, they suck. And let's get up here and uh, see what the first hero has to say, but I think he's just gonna be begging for mercy, basically. All right, sir. Man, this has been laggy, and I don't know why. I have every background process closed, but it's fine. Uh, I mean, we're used to it on this channel. It's just a thing we deal with. All right, sir, what are you gonna do first? Uh, you always gotta kind of follow his lead. Oh yeah, he's getting obliterated. Oh my god, that missed. Okay, okay, now we activate Shadow Knights. I think we have him here. 
Yes, sir, we do. I know what I'm doing, baby. Easy first hero. Get fucked, sir. No respect. Okay, let's try and get our uh, rock shots up. We should also get him here, for the record. Like, I'm not even slightly worried about any of this. Like, he should go down very quickly. Okay, maybe not if I miss my attacks. Okay, no, we didn't. But that's fine. Um, I, ju I just missed a couple of attacks there that I shouldn't have. But that's fine. I mean, he barely got out of his first attacking phase. So it's all good. Fucking absolute trouncing. So I don't have... Okay, actually, I have a very easy windscreen here, or I have, like, the good, like, the true windscreen here, where I try and get Rakshasa in the windscreen. I think I'm going to go for, for money, because everyone's seen the Ant windscreen at this point. It's not impressive to anyone anymore. It's, it's like, an easy uh, way to do it, but also, I don't, you know, I, I want to go for distance. I want to go for speed. So let's go ahead and get our uh, Rakshasa up here. The way I do this is I... Uh, I think I have to do it with his uh, charge attack here because it has to be a long attack animation. We got it. He's in it. Oh yeah, and that's a good one too. Oh yeah, that is some janky shit. GG's, man. I'm not washed. Not that that one's super hard. Once I figured out how to actually do it, it's fairly easy. But I'll still take it, you know? Like, I'll take it. GG's. Very good stuff. Um, God, dude, this run was out of control. The Dawn of the Crimson Sun. Holy fuck. Um... Ant and Yaksha working in perfect harmony. And also Shadow Knights was the MVP here. Straight up. Shadow Knights, like, shockingly so, was just able to, to like, bring the heat. And, um, I don't know, man. Like, this is, maybe I'm turning into what I don't like, where it's like I overvalue stat, uh, quintessences. Because, like, if you just have the stats to begin with, something like Shadow Knights can just slap, like, hard. Um, everything else, though, we had the mana cycle, two really good mana cycle items, just doing great work here. Uh, attendance pauldrons, kind of making my concentration on Yaksha a little bit better, though I didn't really use it that much. But whatever, it gives stats anyway, so it's it's a good item regardless. Obviously, Hope Slasher is just crazy. This item is crazy, with especially if you have power skulls, but it's good regardless. We also never quite got to um, uh, Arm 6, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Um, Golden Sword and Dawn of the Crimson Sun giving me... Just, it was just stats galore. We also didn't max out our Hand of Glory, which is pretty funny. If we had maxed that out, that would have been even crazier. The Ring on Every Run. This run had everything, man. This is just like classic, classic skull shit. I've done this two runs in a row, though. Giga damage, like, Omega runs. I, <laughs> I shouldn't clickbait too much. But, like, the last run I clickbaited hard. And this one deserves it, too. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, I'm glad I'm able to record. Uh, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to, but like, if, if it had, the trend had continued from yesterday, I would not be recording. But I went to sleep after like a night of restlessness because it was so fucking miserable. I woke up and I felt quite a bit better. I don't even have a fever right now. So, you know, hey, I don't know. Uh, good stuff. I'm glad that it wasn't as bad. Um, but it's not, obviously, I, I'm not through it. Uh, it takes a while for it to actually go away, but I think the worst of it is hopefully over. Though I guess I'll have to see how the night unfolds. But that's, just, you know, that that's that's not relevant to you guys. Um, GG's, man. Um, so when it comes to, I, I did the poll yesterday about other games I want to try out. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. Uh, I want to maybe give it a little bit of uh, time to think about it. Maybe wait for an update to come out on a game that I'm interested in. Um, I have a few in mind that I want to do. Uh, but I'll also take suggestions. If you guys have anything you want to suggest, feel free. I'll consider it. Um, but you have to keep in mind, my laptop is not the best, so I can only run like 2D roguelites. And um, I don't own every game, so... <clears throat> that's that's just you know and I, i'm not i'm willing to pay for a game to uh get one that i'm super interested in if someone suggests something but like it, it's you know i have to be careful um I, i'm not you know i don't have a lot of money and i also have to buy a new laptop because this one's on its last leg uh which i'm going to be saving up for now so you know it's a thing um we'll get through it together uh 
And that's really all I have to say. I've rambled too much here. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.